I'm doing a fantasy draft in four different sports games. In Madden 24, NHL 24, MLB The Show 24, and NBA 2K24. The way this works is simple. I'm going to draft seven rounds manually and then simulate the rest of the draft and the season. The goal for this video is obviously to make the playoffs in each game and win as many championships as we can. And away we go. Which draft is up first? It's going to be the MLB draft. Also, I want to say that 90% of the people watching this video right now are not even subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more videos. Let's see which MLB team we're taking over. Oh, the A's would have been fun because they did a complete overhaul of their team, but we got the Toronto Blue Jays. And we got a great pick, the number five overall selection. That's going to help us get started here. First four players off the board, Acuna, Shohei, Trout, and Corey Seager. And that leaves us with any other superstar we want to join our team, and there's a lot of them. But as a Yankees fan, I'm taking Aaron Judge if I have an opportunity to get him every time. For our next pick, there's still a bunch of superstar players available like Bryce Harper, Justin Verlander, Kevin Galsman, Marcus Semien, and Sonny Gray. Want to go with Bryce Harper. I'm not going to lie, but we got one season to make the playoffs, so Justin Verlander can be our ace even at 40 years of age. We got our former MVP. We got our former Cy Young and ace. Now I'm going with maybe the best second baseman in the MLB today. That's Marcus Semien. We got four more picks to make, so every pick's going to be crucial. We got Max Scherzer, Brian Abreu, JD Martinez, JT Riamuto, who I want to go with because I want an excellent catcher on this team. And in round five, I have to go with Max Scherzer. And with two picks to go, we have Brian Abreu, Chris Hill, Nathan Eovaldi, Fran Valdez, and Xander Bogarts as the top five. And I'm going ahead and I'm taking Xander Bogarts so we could play at short and we have Semyon at second. And with our final pick, I'm taking an outfielder and a guy I think is underrated and usually performs well in these franchises. Brandon Nimmo. And this is our roster. I am liking the way it's looking. As long as everybody stays healthy, we definitely have an old team, though. Now, we're not going to watch a lot of this team throughout the season, but I had to jump in for opening day to see if this team wins, and honestly, just to see the first inning at bats here. And we got Brandon Nimmo leading us off. We used one of our seven picks on Nimmo, so... This is big time. We need him to deliver at the leadoff spot. And he strikes out looking on the first at bat of the year. Strike out, Judge. All up the middle. That's what I'm talking about, Aaron Judge. Patrick Wisdom looking to stay alive at the cleanup spot. And he strikes out. What a pitch, though. So it ends this game the same way it started it. Possibly. Hopefully not. I'm hoping Nimmo hits a two-run homer to tie it. We got a man on second base here. We get two outs. And Nimmo's down to his final strike. Can he deliver? It's a long baseball season, though. And Nimmo, I thought that one was going to be put in play, but it's fouled off. Nimmo, two outs, two strikes, man on second. Can he deliver? He strikes out, and we get shut out in the first game of the season. <laughs> we got about six games to go, and we are 74-82. and 82. We ripped off a few wins at the end. We finished the season 78-84. and 84. We had a better second half, but we are eliminated from postseason contention. Best player on the team this year went to Marcus Semien, who had 31 home runs, 91 RBIs, played 149 games at a 275 average. And Aaron Judge wind up getting hurt. Second half of the season, only played 121 games for our fifth overall pick. My GM skills are not off to a great start. So I need a way better second game, and we are headed to the NFL in Madden 24. And let's see what team we could possibly save in Madden 24 or create a dynasty. It's going to be a very historic franchise in the San Francisco 49ers. Well, it's time to enter the draft and see which pick we have. And we got pick number five, which is awesome. Our best options at the draft, we have a bunch of 99 overalls in Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, Christian McCaffrey, and Travis Kelsey. But I'm actually going to go with the best defensive player in the draft, and that is Miles Garrett. I really figured I was going to get like Joe Burrow or Josh Allen, but I guess the draft went Mahomes, Stroud, Burrow, and Allen, and I had no chance to take him. And Lamar was gone too, so we didn't even pick five. I don't know how that's possible. Welcome back to San Francisco, Christian McCaffrey. I don't know how you're even still here. We got five more picks to make. Travis Kelsey, Trent Williams, Zach Martin, Chris Jones, and Lane Thomas are here. But again, since we're playing one year, I'm going with 99 overall Travis Kelsey this year. So we go to best available with Trent Williams, Zach Martin, Lane Johnson, Derrick Henry, and Teron Armstead. Give me protection for whoever we're going to wind up drafting a quarterback, Trent Williams, to the team. We have three picks to make. I think I'm going to go one more player before we go quarterback, and then round seven, I don't know who I'm taking. I'll take one of the top two centers in the league and Frank Reg now. I'm sorry, I'm not passing up Aaron Rodgers in a one-year simulation here in Madden. And in round seven, I have to go with a wide receiver here. We do not have a number one receiver. Nico Collins had a great season last year. 
I'm going to take him on the team. I don't know if he's quite number one wide receiver material, but with him, McCaffrey, and Kelsey, we'll be pretty good. And it looks like this is going to be our offense, and honestly, I really like it. The defense, though, I'm not sure how good we're going to be playing. We got some solid players, but really only the one superstar in Miles Garrett. Aaron, I put this season in your hands. I brought you to San Francisco, where you should have been drafted to begin with. CMC will put the team on his back, though. This offense has got to show up every week because the defense could get burned on certain weeks. And we got a third and two here. McCaffrey in the backfield. We got Kelsey. We got Collins. We got CMC. And CMC with a good offensive line. Can't even get a yard, and we're going three now. I am not liking what I'm seeing. Second drive of the year, and Lamar Jackson's already in the red zone again. And Lamar's hitting his tight end. I'm going to have to get accustomed to all these. Is that Laporta? Number 87. Someone just broke a tackle and scored a touchdown at the tight end spot. That's Jake Ferguson with a touchdown. The fact that McCaffrey was there like the 40th pick makes absolutely no sense how he was not drafted earlier. And McCaffrey out of the backfield. Rodgers, plenty of time. Great protection. And then he fumbled, picked up by the old lineman, and almost scored. Rodgers, that was terrible. Don't get cute. Just give the ball to McCaffrey here. Just give it to Christian McCaffrey. Second and goal. Why are we throwing it? And McCaffrey's wide open. That's okay, though. Rodgers throws himself a touchdown. And who has the touchdown there? That's going to be Demario Douglas. We have two touchdowns in this game, but Lamar Jackson has three touchdowns on our defense. And now the offense has slowed down. Lamar is cooking. We're down by three touchdowns. And we wind up getting blown out. And then at the end of the year, we go 12-5, and five, making the playoffs as the two seed in the NFC. Aaron Rodgers threw for about 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns, and 9 picks. CMC had 1,702 yards and 14 touchdowns. Probably going to win Offensive Player of the Year. Nico Collins was a good draft pick with 1,193 receiving yards and 19 touchdowns. And our first round draft pick, Miles Garrett at 12 and a half sacks. Honestly, I expect him more. We're playing the Falcons in week one of the playoffs. We have to win at least this game. Then we'll jump in if we lose. I'm going to be shocked. There's no way, right? Okay, we're in the divisional against the Lions. Let's jump in. Did we get a chance to jump in? Lions up 7-0, but we're driving down the field. Let's go, Rodgers. Lions are up by 7. Our defense, I don't know how good they're going to be in these playoffs, so we have to show up offensively. That is the reason why we're in the playoffs. Rodgers going empty. He's got a third and six. He's got a wide open. Who else? Christian McCaffrey. We will take it. If he shows up in the playoffs, that's all that matters to me. We got a good game here. It's 14-14. Defense has to get a stop. They do. Defense needs to get another stop. Lions score a touchdown. Jamar Chase from Kenny Pickett, of all players, is the starting quarterback for this Lions team. We're at the eight-yard line here, down by seven. And we got to show up, Rodgers. We got to pick up these two yards. This is four-down territory, no doubt about it. McCaffrey. Oh, my. It's Kelsey again. Travis Kelsey with two in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers, plenty of time. Has a wide open Demario Douglas inside the 10. Close it out, boys. One stop. One stop, guys. We're going to... They scored a big gainer touchdown. I was just about to jump in. But Rodgers gets us to the 39 already. I might not even have to jump in. We're going to kick a game winning... McCaffrey just ran for a touchdown. What is happening? Shut them down. Shut them down. I'm not jumping in. I'm not jumping in. We, I think we won. I'm almost positive we won. We are going to the NFC Championship. And in the NFC Championship, we are taking on the Saints. The Commanders, the one seed, got knocked out. I'm skipping to the Super Bowl. We are going to hope we are in it. Come on. Please tell me we're in the Super Bowl. We beat the Saints. Make the playoffs. We lost. That is super disappointing because I think that might have been our best shot to win a championship. Now we head to the NBA. The one seed was out. We had home field. Rodgers, he cannot win NFC championship games. Maybe I should have jumped in. Are we getting the Lakers or the Bulls? Pretty awesome. We got the Lakers. Right, let's see what pick we get. We have, I have no clue, the 11th pick. And with that pick, we can go LeBron, Steph Curry, Jalen Brunson, John ja Morant, Jimmy Butler, or Kyrie. I gotta go with LeBron, though. I just have to go with LeBron. Who do I want to partner with LeBron James, though? Trey Young, Jamal Murray, Kristaps Porzingis, Bam Adebayo, Pascal Siakam, or Carl Anthony Towns. I'm gonna give him a big man that could shoot and play inside defense, and that's gonna be Kristaps Porzingis. I think I'm gonna go with Aaron Gordon here. We really need a point guard. For sure, there's not really any good options here. I'm picking Klay Thompson in round four. Hopefully, LeBron could turn back the clock on Klay. Round five, I'm going point guard. We got Lonzo, Marcus Smart, Terry Rozier, Mike Conley, and Brogdon. I'm going Marcus Smart. He might not shoot the three ball that well, but he's going to play great defense, and he can play make a bit for us. I'm going to go with the young Jonathan Isaac here for a backup four. And this is our final team, and I like it. I think we have a good mix of playmaking, shooting, and defense. I'd be surprised if this team isn't a playoff contender. Listen, LeBron, I need a championship. I thought I was going to have.
have it in Madden. I thought we had it in the NFL. I need a championship in this video. And I think this is going to be a good chance to get it. The Lakers always get some 2K luck. LeBron always gets some 2K luck. And we're in Denver, who they normally don't beat, but they don't have Jokic. And I really like this team. I think we built it pretty well. But if they keep hitting three-pointers, we'll be in trouble. Nice rebound by Porzingis. Let's get that ball to LeBron. Marcus Smart, you got to know LeBron is going to be the primary ball handler when you're out here. We got CP3 on the bench, too, which is going to be huge for the second unit. LeBron, take that all away. There's no way. Come on, guys. Let's hit the fourth possession without a shot made. LeBron, play make. Get it to somebody. Porzingis, do something. Somebody do something. Pass it back to Clay. Clay puts it up. It's all about the offense. I want to see the offense click a little bit. Back out to Clay. Clay, you better hit. There's no way, Clay. Please score. We're going to Porzingis. Do something. Someone hit something, Clay. Finally, can we win our first game in Denver? Can the Lakers finally get their revenge on the Nuggets without Jokic? This is way closer than I thought it would be. I think this team's pretty bad, honestly, the Nuggets. And we win a three-point game in game one of the season. And we went 47-35, and 35, which was good enough for the five seed. And in round one, we're taking on the Portland Trailblazers. We do have to travel to Portland, though. We are the five seed against the four seed, but I think we're a better team. On paper, for sure, we're the better team. And you have the playoff experience of LeBron and some of the other guys on this team. And LeBron going to start off with a nice slam. All right, LeBron, do something crazy. Get crazy, LeBron. LeBron kicking it outside. Clay, 44 from three this year. And that is a splash. That's the splash, brother, we know. If we can score on this possession, that's going to be huge. Marcus Smart kicking it to Clay. Clay, you got to take that shot. Clay, that is so huge. And LeBron misses. They got the final shot for a chance to win game one. Game one of the playoffs. This is pretty entertaining stuff. But we want the win. We want the win. Smart on Booker. This is what we want. Here comes the screen. Got to fight over it. Smart. Booker. He hit that. And it was a three. I thought his foot was definitely on the line. That's an insane shot to make. Who's getting this ball? Smart. What kind of a... He almost hit it and we lost game one. Game seven. We are back in Portland. I cannot believe we've enforced the game seven. Booker's taking a shot. This guy missed. That is so clutch. I thought he was going to hit it. No doubt about it. I thought he was going to hit it. He actually missed. We're down by two. Inside Aaron Gordon. Out to LeBron. LeBron. Down low. He's turning around. He's jumping. He's fading away. And he missed. Poor Zingas back up with it. He slams it down. It's a tie game. Let's see what overtime has in store for us. Two minutes left. We're down by three. We're down by six. Come on. We're down by seven. And it looks like we're going home. We almost came back from a 3-0 deficit. We lose this game in overtime by 10. But what a performance at the end of this series. Which means we finish in NHL 24. And which team are we going to try to win a championship with in the NHL? It's going to be the Washington Capitals? No, the New York Islander. And in our final draft, we got the third overall selection. And the two players off the board are Connor McDavid, which is obvious, and David Postrana. So we have our pick of Nathan McKinnon, Nikita Kucherov, Austin Matthews, Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr, or Temi Panarin. But I feel like I have to go with Nathan McKinnon, who might win the Hart Trophy this year. But I'm thinking for my second pick, though, is somebody that can play on the wing with Nathan McKinnon with an elite shot, and that's going to be Philip Forsberg. Then we build depth through the middle with Steven Stamkos getting our second line center. We have yet to look at defense round five in the draft so i'm going with a two-time stanley cup champion we're gonna get drew dowdy here in round five and for our last defenseman i'm gonna go with a left-handed shot in brady shea and this is how our entire draft winded up shaking out but let's watch a little bit i don't know how much we're gonna watch of this team in the first game Str okay maybe we don't have to watch anymore because ryan strove just scored a goal from the assist of nathan mckinnon our third overall selection and the islanders waste no time starting the season on the board that was pretty awesome Already on the board here in Long Island. I told you this team was going to be good. I have a good feeling Nathan McKinnon is going to be bringing the best out of all these guys. Philip Forsberg with McKinnon and Strom. This is an awesome line already. Dylan taking a shot from the point. This team's already got like five or six shots on goal, and the game just started. And we're going up against Connor McDavid, I just realized. We'll watch till about five minutes remaining. Pabrowski going to have to make a save. He makes two saves on the doorstep on TJ Oshie and Martinook. We got a good goaltender. We got good defense. We got good forwards. We got a good team all around, and we get that one out of the zone. We finished third in the Eastern Conference with a 100-point season, 44 wins, 26 losses, and 12 overtime losses. And we are taking on the New York Rangers in the first round of the playoffs. Let's simulate the first two games. Can we win them both? We lose at home. That's not fun. We lose again at home. There's no way we lost both games at home. Game three. Are we really going to go down three? We really went down three zero. This is a joke. We went down three zero like we did in basketball. It's four nothing Rangers. 
That is unbelievable. I thought we were a cup contender. What a disappointing end to this season and video. To get swept in the NHL after having a good season. I thought we had a cup contending team. And we get swept by the New York Rangers. As they'll advance in the playoffs and beat us 5 to nothing in game 4. We just gave up. Where was the heart? That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.